But anyway, yeah. Let's get into it. I was kind of eager to try this game. It's kind of interesting, because it's kind of like a mix of, uh... It's kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of like a mix of, like, a platformer game, but also, like, a 3D exploration game. Also, I hope the audio isn't too loud. But yeah, basically, I think, from what I've seen and what I've heard about this game, basically, um... Like, how it works is that if you're out in, like, the open world, it's, like, kind of like if anyone's seen the new Zelda game on Switch. It's kind of like that, the way it looks, to some extent. But when you're in, like, dungeons and stuff, it's kind of like a whole different thing. <laughs> um, Continue? Okay, no, that's grayed out. Never mind. <laughs> and, like, the gray looks so similar to the white. I thought it was, like, allowing me to continue. But, um, yeah, basically, like I was saying, so it's, like... In the open world, it kind of looks like the Zelda game, but if you're in a dungeon, um, like, it's kind of like a 2D, well, it's like a 2.5D platformer, because it's not, like, 2D, but it's not, like, 3D, like, you know, open exploration when you're in a dungeon. But anyway, yeah, let's get into, oh, whoops. I probably should have checked if I enabled subtitles, but hopefully they're enabled automatically. <laughs> I hope. Good afternoon, Phoenix, dozing off again, and the middle of the day at that. Feeling hot, you say? Try wearing a suit of plate meal in the scorching heat, and then talk to me about burning up. All you need is an ice-cold glass of whiskey. You'll feel better in no time. Since the shop's closed this afternoon, you should visit, uh... Leah, I think? <laughs> the old druid who lives down by the river. She's probably out tending to her flowers right about now. I'm sure she'll have something that can help you deal with the heat. Oof. Be careful in the woods. It's just not the bears and wolves you have to worry about. Although, I doubt the beasts will prove to be too much trouble for a pair of daggers like yours. <clears throat> Oof. Also, one second. Um... Kinda wanna see if this is gonna, like, calm down a little bit. Let me just check Task Manager real quick. Hmm. Yeah. I guess it makes sense, but it's kind of weird that like, my CPU's, like, shot up a lot. Like, it's still okay, I think, it's just that it went a lot higher once the game actually, like, I clicked play. But, uh, one second. Whoops. Character. Oh, wow. Um, audio. Okay, I think we'll keep the audio the way it is. second. I forgot to tweet out that I was live. I know what to do. Okay, that's good. Okay. So you can kind of- oh, whoa, hang on, can I still talk to this guy? Okay. <laughs> So you can kind of see it's like 2.5D, it's like the background's kind of 3D, but like some- a lot of the stages on the game, um, it's basically like this, where it's like, you can't really like move 3D, like it kind of looks 3D, but it's like kind of 2D. But there are like parts of the game, like when you're out exploring in places, where uh, it is like 3D. But for majority of the game, well, I shouldn't say majority because I'm not sure of that, because obviously I haven't played this before. But I know that, like, dungeons and stuff, it's kind of like how it is now, where it's, like, 2D. Yeah, you can see, like, now that we're out of the village, um, you can see now it's, like, 3D. Welcome to the overworld. Your current objective is highlighted by the beacon of light. Make your way to Korath Woods and speak with Leah. Be sure to explore all of the overworld, as there are many secrets and important things to discover. So, yeah, you can see, like, now that we're out here, um, that it's, like, you can move, like, 3D. 
wonder what happens if you try going back. Oh, well. Oh, wow, that's kind of interesting. It's like, you can see... Ooh, I see something up there. Let's see if we can get that. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of weird already seeing this, just because uh, you can kind of see... Oof, nice. You can kind of see um, that this village is obviously, like, it looks really small when you're in 3D world, but if you loaded it up, obviously when we were there a second ago, it looks a lot larger. Is this the woods place? Maybe not. Ooh. So yeah, I think we're just gonna look around here for a little bit, see if we can find it. Oh, I can't even go up that way. <laughs> see if we can find anything, like, hidden. I wonder if there's something in that tree. Oh, no, you go through the tree. <laughs> Rest in peace. But yeah, I really want to, like, try out this game, because I've seen, like, some of the dungeon stuff, and it looks very cool. Although, obviously, we just started, so, you know. Oh, and how do we... I wonder if you can get, like, other abilities. Oh, wait, can I go up here? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot easier. Let's see what's in here. Oh, you cannot proceed. Oh. See, so, yeah, I guess that's an area for, like, a later time. Okay, that's the woods. I wonder where that other piece of gold is. I wonder if it's in this trunk. Oh, no. Well, probably up here, right? If I had to take a... Oh, wait, there's something up here. This is a spear tower, but uh, you can just fall apart over the year. There are several towers that are Korra, and if you collect enough gold for me, I can rebuild all of them. When fully constructed, a spirit tower will be able to transport you to a dimension within the spirit world. Why don't you face a challenge? If you win the challenge, you'll be granted increased health or power. You don't have enough gold for me to reassemble the tower. You currently have three gold, but you need ten gold. Come back and speak to me when you have enough. Oof. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I still don't see the other piece of gold anywhere, but maybe it's in, like, this area. But yeah, I'm not sure if there's any, like, dungeon bosses outside of those, like, tower things that the person just mentioned. Oh yeah, you can kind of see now. <laughs> um, how do I attack? Oh yeah, there we go. Let me check the control scheme again real quick. Uh, controller scheme. Crouch, roll. Okay, yeah. That's a little bit complicated, but hopefully the game introduces us to it. Oh, I can't. Can you go, like, under here? Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of like the, the platform aspect I was talking about. Like, you can see now that we're in, like, the woods area, it's like, it's like 2.5 3D. Not 2.5 3D, 2.5D. Um... And you can see it's kind of like a platform now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, I guess it makes sense if you touch that. I thought it would only kill you if, uh... If it, like, came outwards. Okay. Please don't kill me. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know if you can... F oh, wait, hon, do I have to go around, or can I just... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I probably have to go around. 
I wonder if I was even supposed to kill that bear. Because I think we have to go under this way. Okay. Um, one sec. Let me just do that. Oh dear, my name is Leah. Isn't my garden beautiful? I've been at it all week now. The sun's out and my flowers blooming. Couldn't ask for a more perfect day. Oh. Uh, Guard Baderick sent you my way, didn't did he? A few years back when the Dark Elves attacked our village, Guard uh, Battery led myself and a dozen others to safe passage out of town. It was a day I'll never forget a good man he is. Always looking out for others. <laughs> Actually blind, by the way. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what brings you to me then? How can I help you? Oh, is there like a piece of gold and I just didn't see it? Uh, whom could it be your eyes flicker like sparks of fire? It's been a long time since I've met one who could channel the flame. Less people are born these days with magic running through their veins. Flame is uh, the magical essence within someone that allows them to manipulate fire and control the elements. I suspect you have this power, but in order for you to use it, I will need your help gathering something. Go back? Okay. I create. Wait, I can create a tonic for you, which allow you to channel the flame, but I'm missing an ingredient. If you can collect a griffin feather, I can create an oil from its stem, which can be used as an extracting agent. There were some guards up ahead trying to deal with the griffin. You should talk to them and see if you can help. Return to me once you have a feather. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, it is gold. What the heck? <laughs> Thanks very much for that, Average. I appreciate it. I kind of want to look around now, because I feel like I might have missed more. Yeah, can I get up here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, I, I'm not gonna go too far back, but the fact it says gold, like, 2 out of 10, I think that does mean that there's a lot more on this level. So, if I had to guess, I probably did miss one or two, like, more towards the beginning of the level, but we'll just continue for now. Oh! I feel like, well, you know, it did manage to hit me. But I feel like you can almost, like, bait the the bears. <laughs> but, like, you know, if they're on a ledge like that, you can kind of just stay at, like, the upper part. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I don't think we can go up there because my, like, jump isn't high enough. Hail adventurer, there's deadly griffin stalking the, uh, the path up ahead. She's marked her territory, but we managed to block off both sides of the path until we can figure out a way to clear her out. So you need of a feather as it is. Um, then perhaps you'd be willing to help us with our griffin problem. Seems you're just the right size for the job. As strong as our steel is, it's no match for the speed of the beast, but what we need is someone who's small and silent and can strike her unseen. Think you can do that, griffin stone? Uh, put up much of a fight when struck off guard. Wait until you're out of uh, line of sight, then sneak in for the attack. Good luck, kid. Okay, wait, hang on. I want to see something real quick. Audio. Okay. <laughs> I almost kind of wish there were people, like, speaking the audio. That way I don't have to, or wouldn't have to, <laughs> say it. Is this going to attack me over here? Uh oh. <laughs> well, rest in peace. Good to see you're awake. Griffin Shriek knocked you out cold. Luckily, the guards dragged you out before it was too late. I took the Griffin Feather you plucked from the beast. Next time, you should try and be a little more quiet. Oh, I wonder if I could actually, like, sneak attack that. <laughs> Ace of Shard. This is Minecraft, too? Oh, yeah.
<laughs> Minecraft story mode too, yeah. what became of Voltaire. The threat has been long since forgotten. <clears throat> Giving out keys for this? No, unfortunately I'm not. <clears throat> but yeah, this, this is definitely Minecraft story mode too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding though. Yeah, this game's called The Forbidden Arts, but yeah. Oh, what the heck? Oh, stuff respawns. <laughs> I feel like that makes a lot of sense. You know, that way it's like, kind of gives you something to keep doing. Because, you know, obviously if stuff doesn't respawn, then you'll probably get a little bit bored. If you don't make like a new save game. Um... I wonder if you get, like, a, well, I haven't looked at the achievements yet, but I wonder if you get achievements for killing that stuff. Um, wait, did I do something wrong? <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I hope I wasn't supposed to talk to that person again, because otherwise we're going to have to go, like, all the way back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, that was kind of, like, a bit spooky. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I was, like, stuck on top of the wolf's head. For, like, a split second. Okay, do I have to talk to this person? Oh, yep. Yeah. And no one knows what became of him. Many expect that he's been up to something, but let's talk for another day. But, uh, you should feel a strong surge of energy throughout your body. The tonic I gave you will allow you to channel the flame. First, you should learn how to shoot a fireball. Channeling fire is a is simply learning how to summon the flame from within. Uh, when reaching the point of combustion, you can shoot fire in a condensed ball, which in turn can deal devastating damage upon collision. Let's try it out. Ah. For job, the flame is drained from your body every time you use an ability. If the flame runs out, you cannot channel any more fire until the flames have been restored. You can siphon fire from nearby sources in the environment to restore the flame. Try siphoning fire from the campfire behind you. RT to siphon. Ah. Great, seems like you got the hang of things now. I think you're all set. The entrance to black is at the end of the woods. Uh, within the past, as the abandoned mines, the labyrinth of underground tunnels once used to excavate riches by the dwarves. 
The Geomancer claimed these tunnels as a sanctum when the dwarves were forced to abandon the mines during a, cla a cataclysm. He's beast as strong as they come, but surely, but he can surely help you. Make your way through the forest to reach Blackfang Pass. Uh, see the Geomancer in the other tunnels. Okay, wait. Does it let me, like, go across again? Oh, it does. I'm pretty sure that pass was, like, in the other direction, but I kind of want to, like, see if we can fight that griffin again. I just got an achievement. <laughs> griffin Tamer. You've cleared the Griffin. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing that doesn't respawn. But I wonder if it went up here, because I did see it fly away. Let me try this. Okay, I don't think I can get up there, because, like, the jump thing is not high enough. Okay, maybe it's not there. Yeah, let's see what's down here, because I'm pretty sure, like I said, that pass, I'm pretty sure that was in, like, the other direction. Mm -hmm. Thanks for up with the griffin. Take this feather as a token of our gratitude. I think you might find it useful. Mysterious feather, so I don't even think that's a griffin feather. Ooh, another achievement. The birth of phoenix. You've collected one phoenix feather. Wait, how much? Is there gold down there? Okay, I guess not. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was reading chat. No. It's all good. <laughs> One of the main characters is a fairy tale. I don't think it's like you're eating fire. I think it's just like you're absorbing it with like your hand. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh no. It's not let me shoot a fireball. There we go. Oh, he's still alive. These guys are kind of annoying to fight. Uh oh. I kind of want to check like what's on that top layer, but for now we're just at the bottom. Oh, that was kind of close. Oh, I see gold. Okay, let's try and not die. I just realized you can, like, stab that air too. Hmm. 
Wait, did I just hit? Like, I think the fireball kept traveling. Oh, yeah, it definitely did. Oh, this thing's still following me. For, like, for a little bit there, I was kind of thinking it would just stop at, like, the other side of the bridge over here where I'm at now. But, <laughs> yeah, it definitely kept moving. Wait, what? That was kind of interesting. I don't know if he has an ability that makes him immune for that, but, like, the first fireball, like, damaged him, but the other ones didn't. Which is a little bit weird. I don't know how big the woods are here, but it seems like they're pretty big. Oh wow, you can push this. I don't want to push this off and then find out that I needed it for something. Oh, whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait. That was kind of close. If we got hit there, I think we would have been dead. I think based on the amount of damage the enemies do at the moment, it's like three hits and we're dead. Uh-oh. Is this a boss? Hi. Oh no, he seems friendly. Hail, hail friend. My name is Kodiak Wintergreen. You must be lost or looking uh, for trouble venturing into these parts of the woods. I may be a dark elf, but I'm no sheep. I pledge no allegiance to the clan from which I came. I live a life of solitude, and it serves me well. Say, if it's the Geomancer you seek, you could probably use a skilled tracker to help guide you through the mines. Knolls have rigged the place full of traps, and it just so happens disarming traps is a specialty of mine. If I can keep whatever gold we find, then I'll take care of the traps, and you can make your way safely to the Geomancer, providing the gnolls and spiders, uh... Uh, front of the nose, spiders don't kill you on the way out. What do you say? <laughs> Excellent. I'll run ahead and scum for traps. See you inside. Oh, well. I didn't agree to that. Fans game. Um. Hmm, okay. Hi, Phoenix, there you are, ready to line my pockets with gold. Well, there's a bit of a snag, the tunnel leading to the Geomancer is blocked. You'll have to make your way down through the old mining tunnels in the eastern end of the pass. Hmm. Oh, this is like a 3D part of the game, okay. <clears throat> it's only evil? Uh. Yeah. It's so like I was saying earlier, this is, like, the kind of thing with the game. Um... Is that, like, a lot of the parts are, like, 2.5D, but there are, like, areas like this where it's, like, 3D. Let's see if we can find any more gold. Yeah, that's the objective. I just want to see if we can find the gold here before we, like, you know, leave and start doing stuff. Kind of interesting, this area. Oh, what is up there? Oh, nice. 
nice, there we go. Okay, how am I gonna get up here? Um... Oh, I think I see. Okay, maybe not. I oh, whoops. I wonder if we have to aim for the tree. Oh no, you go through the tree. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, that looks kind of interesting up there. Kind of weird that there's like three ta or two towers like so close to each other. Looks like there's a ton of gold in there. Can't even <laughs> grab it. Yeah, I kind of wonder where the third piece of gold is, but we'll just continue with the objective for now. I've, it's probably up there on that hill. Like I probably have to. Uh... Actually, Han, maybe let's try a couple more times to get up there. Yeah, so they put an invisible wall there. Wait, hon, did it let me in that? Okay, maybe not. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Also, Hanlon, what is this? Okay, I can't go in there yet. I think I know what to do. We kind of got to get, like, stuck in between the pipe. Oh, that actually works as well. If I can try and do that again. Basically, what we're trying to do is get stuck in between the pipes. So then we can, like, once we're stuck, we'll be able to jump again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, it just kind of let me up that time. <laughs> Welp, um... I'm not seeing the other piece of gold. I kind of thought it would either be up on this hill or something, but, I mean, it's not letting me into there, so. I don't know, maybe we have to check out the mine first before we can, like, do stuff up there. It's kind of a feels bad, man. I really wanted to, to you know, not only find that last piece of gold, but, like, you know, <laughs> see what was up there. Because when we were on that really tall hill, it looked like some really cool stuff over there. Oh, wow. <sighs> okay. Oh, man. It's kind of hard to fight them because it's, like, with close range. Um... Oh, I did not mean to do that.
But yeah, with close range, it's kind of a bit difficult to, uh... To fight them, because it's like, if they get a hit off, like, so much of your health just goes away. Like, three hits and you're dead, so... I think I just messed up, possibly. My bad. I thought what you had to do was uh, kind of like this Dark Souls 3, like, somewhat secret, where it's like you had to activate the elevator and then, uh, like, jump off. And then you'd be able to go across, but I think we have to do other stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> My double jump didn't work. I only had one jump, unless I, like, accidentally spammed two jumps. I wasn't really paying too much attention. Those things are like a one tap. Rest in peace. Dude, I'm getting, like, wrecked already. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, another instance where my double jump doesn't work. I think it, honestly, at this point, kind of might be my controller, because I've noticed that when I've been playing Fortnite, um, that, like... I forget which... Oh, yeah, I, f I think it might be the right bumper, but especially the left thumbstick. It's, like, it doesn't respond properly. Like, the, my left thumbstick is starting to, like, move up on its own. Which, if any, if any of you have had that happen before, you know it's because, uh... Huh, <laughs> because, what do you call it, that happens when the controller starts, like, breaking... Like, I'm hitting X. Like, what the heck is this? Oh, man. Feels bad, man. Okay. Oh no, what the heck? Oh, dude, this part of the level is already so annoying. <laughs> like, half the time it's not registering my stab on the bats, and then, like, so far on this level, it's like I'm hitting A and it's not letting me jump. Either it's not letting me jump at all, or sometimes it's, like, not even giving my giving me my double jump. <laughs> like, that is a perfect example. Oh. Oof. Big oof. Oh, 
Oh, what the heck? Oh, dude, you have to be joking me. Like, I don't know if it's because it was only the beginning stage, but literally before, on, like, the forest level, if you got hit, you were basically immune for a certain amount of time, it seemed like. And now you get hit, and it's like, you don't have that cooldown, but, like, with the enemies, it's, like, the only way to fight them besides the fireball is, uh, close range. Like, I know you can try rolling out of the way, but, like, that area, you really couldn't do anything, because, like, the platform is just so small. Like, what? Dude. I think that was a perfect example of my thumbstick not responding. Or at least not, like, accurately. I push it up to, like, move forward, and then my guy, like, runs off the platform. Like, that is fantastic. Ugh. It doesn't even look like there's anything over here. Try looking for secrets, and you don't find any. I'm just kidding. You find a little bit, but not really a lot. Well, at least so far. Um... The hit registration can be a little bit weird on this game. So from what I'm seeing so far. It's like you almost have to, like, spam. Like, it's kind of hard to explain, but, um, like, you can kind of see, like, when I stab how, like, far the dagger goes out. It's like, you can't really pause and wait for them to get closer than that, because if you wait too long and they go past where, you're, like, the tip of your dagger is, it seems like they're gonna hit you anyway. So it's like you're almost forced to, like, do this, like, spam. At least that's what I'm kind of, like, seeing so far, because, you know, with, like, the bats, that's, like, a lot of what's been happening. The path uh, ahead is barred shut. There's a group of switches in the room ahead. Perhaps they need to be activated in a certain order to unlock a gate. I'm not good with this kind of stuff, but I bet you can figure it out. Uh, why don't you have a look around and let me know if you find anything interesting. Okay, I'm just doing that manually, uh, manual save, I should say. Because I kind of want to see what's down here. And again, I'm, again, another perfect instance where uh, it's not letting me jump. Ugh, man. Like, I honestly, I'm, like, I don't even know what's happening. Like, I don't know if it's just, like I was saying, my controller being messed up. Because I know for a fact it's starting to, like, you know, kind of decay. Um, or if it's just, like, the game not responding to when I hit A. Not really sure. Like... Ugh, oh, this game. Come on, man. Really? I think I might have to jump first, because I think by the looks of it, it's not letting me jump while I'm falling off. Is kind of what I'm like thinking. There we go. Like, what? Oh, 
dude, come on, really. Like, I'm mind blown. It's like my guy jumped, like, straight over the, <laughs> the friggin' top platform there. Like, yikes. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Oh, okay, let me just leave that guy. You know, I just realized maybe that's one thing that I should realize is that I don't have to fight enemies. Because I honestly feel like that's one thing that I'm struggling very poorly with. Yeah, this is kind of like a puzzle. I think I'm kind of getting this. Oh, okay, no, I think I have to hit the other one now. I don't even know if that... Oh, whoops. Yeah, I don't even know if that did anything. Um... Like, uh, hello? Again, I tried jumping off the platform. Okay. I think what it is, is that you have to be, like, really specific with the jump. Like, a perfect example is, like, as far as I'm aware... Oh, no, I guess you can, yeah. I don't know why I wasn't working earlier. It's kind of weird. It's like, sometimes it's like it doesn't let you do stuff, and sometimes it does. I mean, it could, like I said, it could just be my controller. So I'll, like, kind of give the benefit of the doubt that it's just my controller breaking, but... It's kind of weird, because sometimes, like, the stuff... It lets you do stuff in certain situations, and other times it doesn't. Wait, how'd that guy get there already? <laughs> Literally, he was on the left side, and as soon as the cutscene there, little, little cutscene activates, it's like he's already on the right side. That was a bit tricky, but I knew I could count on you. This area is gold miner stream. I'll meet up with you in a bit. I have some spelunking to do. Oh. Wait, what? I might have to just avoid that guy. I kind of want to try taking him out, but like, wow. <laughs> That's brutal. Huh. I'm not- Oh wait. 
Mm, I don't know. I think I might have an idea to kill this guy, but, like, we're gonna have to try something, and... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to kill that dude. Unless I'm just, like, you know, not... Thinking with, like, the 3,000 IQ plays right now. Dude, there's so many bats. Dude, like, again, I, like, like I said, you can't wait. It's like, you almost have to keep doing this. Like, it's like, I want to time it perfectly just to, you know, get one clean shot off and kill them, but it's like the, the hitboxes are, like, kind of, kind of a little bit weird. close, it didn't give me a double jump. Can I destroy these? No. I mean, it's kind of good that we found, um, whoops. It's kind of good that we found, like, more gold, I guess, but, uh, it kind of sucks that we weren't heading towards the objective, because now we're gonna have to go, like, all the way around, which is gonna take a fair bit of time. Save the fireballs. Feels bad, man. Okay, let's see what we got up here. I don't even think I can kill those guys at the moment. Um, 
that shoot the green things because you hit them once with a fireball or with your dagger and then they activate the shield around them um so i don't even think there's oh no oh dude this is gonna be so bad i don't even know how we're gonna kill this guy Because I didn't figure out how to kill them originally. And then it just jumps me right over. Ugh. Oh, brutal. Um... Dude, like... Can I not grab the thing? Oh, man. I really don't know how we're going to do this. Because this thing's just going to keep shooting at me. So, we're going to have to figure out how to kill it. But the problem is, is that I don't know how to kill it. Like, I've tried, like, a few things before. Oh, there we go. I still don't even know how I did that. I was just kind of spamming random stuff. So close, <laughs> the friggin' bat knocked me off. Oh, thankfully, there was stuff there. Oh no! Oh wow. <laughs> I can't believe we survived that, honestly. That was pretty crazy. We fell down so far. We still got hit. Pretty crazy. Oh boy, how do we do this? No, dude, the friggin' bats. I probably should have saved my game there. Because that would have, you know, obviously respawned us there. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Oh. 
There's a little hidden compartment down there. I don't know if I should check that. Oh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> don't want to do anything with those spikes. Dude, those enemies are so annoying. Ugh. <laughs> like, it's either the shooting thing, or, like, you hit them with the fireball, and they activate that little, like, shield. I feel like there's no good way to, uh, to counter that. Oh wow, look at that, I like rolled through the guy's attack. Dude, this is friggin' Batman, I swear. Hey, some ninja, how you doing? Uh, this game's called The Forbidden Arts. It's kind of like a 2.5D, like, platformer game, kind of, but there are areas of the game where it is, like, 3D. But those are, like, pretty small areas. I don't know why the bats aren't dropping any hearts. Those things are, like, probably dealing the most damage to me. Okay, I think you can hit those guys through that, like, green shield, by the looks of it. I'm gonna wait for that bat to come around, I'm not taking any chances. Is it oh yeah, there we go. Oh! Okay, we have to cross this. Oh, finally. Bat dropped a heart. Yeah, you know, that that will definitely kill you. <laughs> As I make the jump, friggin' boulder just falls from the sky, hits my head. Pretty solid. Do you have a PS4? Yeah, I do. I do indeed. Although I almost, like, never use it. I used it a decent bit when I first got it, but, um... The only thing it's really good for is exclusives. And... Pretty much all the exclusives... You gotta buy, so if you're not, like, spending a ton of money... On, like, exclusive games on PlayStation, it's, like, kinda not really even worth it. Oh, dude, that is incredibly annoying. Oh, man. This is, uh, pretty brutal. Oh no! 
Dude, this is, like, brutal. <laughs> Undertale? I think I've seen that game. I don't know. I it, like It kind of looks like a cool concept, but I don't think that's a game I'd personally ever play. I mean, you never know, obviously, if I'm ever, like, bored enough, I might, but... <laughs> generally speaking, I don't think I'll ever play that game. Aw, oh, dude, yeah, this part of the level is, like, triggering me. <laughs> Oof. We gotta, like, fireball, kill the bat, then it's like, we gotta try and avoid this dude, get him to, like, go over here. Oh. <laughs> There's just so much stuff going on in this level. Like, look at that. What am I supposed to do against that? Like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, come on, game. I really don't know what the game wants of me here. It's like there's just so much stuff happening on the screen. It's like you can't avoid it all no matter what you do. Oh, man. Come on, game. Seriously. <laughs> that is, like, brutal. I think this is still only, like, the second level. And it's already, like, getting really annoying. With just the sheer amount of, like, random crap on the screen. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm trying to fight that guy. I can't even, like, kill him, so. Can I jump off? Yeah, okay, yeah, this is pretty interesting. Pretty interesting, to say the least. It's like, no matter what I do, it's like, I'm getting hit by fire. It's like, I can time it as much as I want. It's like, nothing I can do against that. It's spawning the fire, like, too often to, for me to get through there. Like, look at that. It's like, you can't move. You can't jump while on the cobweb, and you can't do anything else. Like, I'm really at a loss for what the game wants me to do there. It's like, it's spawning fire too fast for me to move up. I, I don't know what it wants. I'm probably gonna have to abuse- well, can't even do that. I was gonna abuse, the, like, the mechanic where once you get hit, you're immune for a little bit, but I don't even think I can do that, like, for real. Like, look at that. It's just an endless wave. You can't fight against it. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really at a loss for what the game wants here. It's spawning too much fire, and to begin with, even if it was only, like, one or two lines there, it's like, it's spawning it too quickly. Like, if you get hit by the fire thing, it, like, knocks you off is also, like, the problem. Okay, I think I might have just figured it out by the looks of it. Possibly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me... Let's try doing that maybe one more time, and I think that was probably the way to do it, because we, we obviously made it a lot further than we have any other attempt. But even then, still having issues with the, the fire spawning. And already we're off to a better start, because we didn't get hit by that guy. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, 
Like, wait, what? Dude, I swear I wasn't even touching at that time. Like, was that just me, or, like, <laughs> I guess you guys be the judge, but, wow. I swear my foot was, like, above the flame. Uh, okay. I hit A to jump, my guy's just still standing there. Nice. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Mm, I don't want to rage quit off this game, but this part is, well, yeah. Without trying to be, like, too mean, I think this part is just not very... I mean, it could just be me being, like, bad at the game, which is also probably that, but, like... I feel like this part isn't the best designed, is a good way of putting it, without being, like, too harsh. It's like the fire things are so close to each other, there's, like, almost no space in between them. Um... Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll probably give this at least a few more times, because obviously I was still planning on playing for a couple hours, so hopefully we can just get past this part. But yeah, this section of the game is very intriguing. Like, again, try jumping and nothing happens. Okay, I really hope we don't- oh. It's a good thing I wasn't one hit because I did not even realize that thing was there. Yeah. <laughs> like, goes back to that saying, the fire just shoots too often. Like, you have no time to get through that. Like, I really don't know what the game wants me to try and do there. It's like you give me, like, less than half a second to try and squeeze through there, so, like, you're either need to be, like, really precise or, like, I feel like you might have to, like, jump off the, the cobweb there or something, if it even lets me. Yeah, I can't even, like, jump off the cobweb, so, like, you basically have to do what I was doing, like, you have to maneuver, um, between the fire, but when you have, like, no time to go through there, like, the intermission between like the time of the fire being there and it not being there it's almost like non-existent it's like you can't really do a whole lot like perfect example is that right there <sighs> try not to get like too frustrated but I'm just like like I was saying earlier, I'm just kind of like more at just a loss for words. Like, I really don't know what to say. This game's like... It's a cool concept, but so far, this level specifically, the underground part, is like really odd with the flame things. Maybe I'll just try to keep going up instead of going on that right side. It's like, look how fast the fire is shooting. It's like, you have no time to, to go between there. Well, you know, I shouldn't say no time. That's more obviously just a figure of speech, but like, you know, you have such a small amount of time that unless you're like, you have lethal precision, it's like, there's, you're not getting through. And obviously, if you're, like, you get hit with the fire, it knocks you off the web. So like, the higher you go, the farther down you fall. So, even if you do manage to make progress and you get, like, hit by one of the things higher up, um, then you just fall back to the beginning. Which is pretty annoying. 
I think we're good now by the looks of it. Like, it looks like we got past that, like, pretty difficult stage, thankfully. But yeah, that was really rough. And we're still down here, meaning, like, you know, this fire thing is still probably going to be a problem. As long as we're in these underground, like, catacombs. And I wouldn't be surprised if, like, later on in the, in the game, obviously those come back. That would not surprise me in the slightest. And obviously later in the game, they'll probably shoot even faster just to try and make it, like, more difficult. I think we finally made it out of there. Thankfully. <laughs> yeah, that was so brutal. Holy crap. It's quite a long and dangerous journey to get here. What could poss- Wait, what could possibly have brought you to see me? Uh, Aaliyah has sent you a friend she may be, but your actions have proven to be anything but friendly. You've scoured my warriors and left a trail of flames behind you. This isn't a battleground. This is our home. Measure a man by strength, uh, you certainly had the means to get down here, but you do you have the strength to defeat me in battle? Uh, your fire does not scare me, and I don't burn easy, so let's see how you handle those blades of yours. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had a worthy challenge to defeat me, and I'll give you that which you seek. Huh. Oh, you know what I just realized? I think we have to use fireballs, because it's like, he's, you can't really stab him, because then, like, you get damaged pretty much going close to him. Um, and then there's fire here, so I just realized we can definitely, like, siphon stuff. Oh. Dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude, it's like, you don't even have time to react. <laughs> like, I was just talking about, like, you know, with the fire things that were shooting out of the wall. It's like, as soon as the the thing appears on the ground, that, like, letting you know that, like, you know, you have to move, it's like, you can't even react. It's like, as soon as it appears, then a half a second, it just, like, you take damage. I don't even know if I can kill him with fireballs. I mean, I guess we'll probably find out, like, after, you know, like, a little bit. Um... Oh, 
Oh, there's the first hit. Oh no, there's the second. And there's the third. I don't even think you can kill him <laughs> with uh, fireballs. Because at the beginning dialogue, it said that he doesn't like burn easy and like to use your blades, but it's like, I don't know how I'm supposed to hit this guy. I think I figured it out. Yeah, you definitely have to use the blades. Wait, what? <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, let me maybe try something. Okay, that did not work at all. Dude, I was literally, like, in between him and the, the, what do you call it, the, uh, like, the sort of fire on the ground that he spawned. Yeah, I'll maybe give this, oh, whoops, I'll maybe give this a few more shots and then I'll probably switch games. Dude. Oh, dude. I really don't know what is with this guy. It's like, I don't know where he pulls moves out. <laughs> it's like with the boulder thing. I don't even know how he's killing me. It's just like, I'll randomly die and like the rock sort of animation will just happen. times I'm gonna have to hit him. Hopefully not like too many, but I feel like it probably will be a lot. Oh, yep. I don't know what triggers that, where it's like I explode with rocks out of nowhere. Oh, I missed my ch Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dude, this boss fight is so annoying. Yeah, what time is it? Okay, I'll maybe play this for another 5 to 10 minutes. Hopefully in that time I can, like, finish the boss. If not, I'll kind of switch games. Or maybe just get off. But, yeah. Can you stab him while he's moving? You can't. Oh, man. Oh, 
Gotta keep an eye out for, like, the boulder attack. I think he might be also getting faster, like, the more you stab him. Um... Okay, like, that time he didn't even let me try and get a hit in. I don't know if anyone saw that, but I was literally already in the air when I died. Oh, dude, this is so... messed. Okay, this is gonna be my last attempt on this, because... Yeah, getting a little bit, like, triggered. Yeah, you can't even, like, damage him with the fireball. Oh, dude, he was coming back? What the heck? Dude, like... What? Like, the boulder animation isn't even playing. It's just randomly, like, spawning... Like, yeah, you can see that's what's supposed to happen, but, like... It's, like, not even playing that. It's literally just, like, as I get close to him, it's like I... Like, the rock spawns on me without the animation. I just take damage. Oh, man. This is rough. Oh, no. Okay, I think we finally got it. <laughs> oh, thank God. There's a fire growing inside you. Uh, you've proven yourself worthy of Leah sent you. <laughs> I'll do my best to help. I see she's taught you uh, how to shoot fire as strong as you may become. You'll do well to remember that the best offense is a good defense. I bestow upon you the strength of earth combined with the flame. You can now summon the shield of fire. Use the shield sparingly as the flame will be depleted as long as you are under its protection. So you've obtained a phoenix feather. Take the feather and bring it to Leah. She will know what to do. So long. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll play this game a bit longer since we actually got past there. I was expecting to continue to fail, but like, holy crap. That boss fight was like... Brutal. That was actually, like, so brutal. Holy crap. I mean, I think it was just because at first I wasn't, like, figuring out what to do, but, like, oh, even the fire things on the wall were, like, triggering me throughout that, like, kind of dungeon area. Crazy. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. So now we can come up here. This is the place that we were at earlier. Yeah, there we go. The hives load. I hope this is just like someone's like village slash house and that we don't actually have to fight a whole bunch of stuff here. Because after that boss fight, it's like kind of wanted a break, but based on the looks of this, we're definitely fighting stuff. Oh, no, okay. Be uh, you made it. There is hope after all. Can't go any further. It's too dangerous in here with all these Bixies flying around. You're on your own, but uh, lucky for you, the Bixies take fire and that shield. You can summon will probably come in handy. Enchantress is in the palace at the end of these tunnels. I hope uh, you can convince her to, re to return our hives to us. Without our honey, we will surely be doomed. How do I summon that thing? Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, can I not stab these? Do I have to actually shoot them? Little bit weird. Whoops. Oh, 
Ugh, honestly though, I'm so glad we're out of that last area. That was like, incredibly brutal. Holy crap. That was a massive spider. Oh, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what hit me? Dude, that was kind of weird. I, like, flew up there, and then all of a sudden I just died. Like, I didn't even see what killed me. And I just jump right into that casually. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Rest in peace. Okay. Hmm. Oh no. Is there even anything up here? Yeah, like what the heck? See, it's kind of weird because it's like, you want to go exploring. Um, but like, a lot of the areas that you try exploring don't even have stuff. It's like, if you look at the upper right and you see like the map layout, it's like, it kind of makes you think there's stuff there and you go there, like you make the effort. And then uh, you find out that there's like nothing there. Like, look at that. What the heck? Like, I tried aiming for the platform, and it's, like, getting blown around. It's like freaking Katy Perry song. Like, do you ever feel like a plastic bl uh, bag getting blown through the wind or whatever? Like, holy crap. I'm, like, going all over the place while I'm in the air. Ugh. <laughs> Dude, this is, like, pretty insane. Oh, okay. Apparently, <laughs> apparently you can't grab those ledges. At least the loading screens are pretty quick. Because I, I think they're also pretty quick on Dark Souls, but I think Dark Souls... Oh, oh, yeah, I'm dead again. Uh, I think Dark Souls is the, the game I'm thinking of where... Uh, where it's like when you die, it's like the loading screens aren't like incredibly long, but they're long enough that it's like even more frustrating when you die. Like this, the loading screen time on this game isn't as bad, but you know. I'm trying something new here.
that. This is, uh... Not gonna go too well, I don't think. Actually, yeah, we need to go this way. Because we already checked at the top, and it was literally just a massive spider. There wasn't even any gold up there. Oh, wait, hang on. Really? Oh! Hmm. Kinda odd I can't jump up there. Actually, I think I know there's gold down there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's brutal. Also, while we're just chilling for now, let me check, uh, check task manager loaded up again. See how all my CPU is holding up. Hmm. Yeah, not terrible. I think it's like around where it normally is, to be honest, so. And that is not too bad, but yeah, I think. Oh. I think I definitely fixed the problem that we were having. Um. Uh oh. I think there's still probably more. Oh, I fell. Oh boy. That is oh, I died. Oh, dude, that's actually rough. Okay, hang on. Um, how long have we been on for? Just under two hours. Okay. I still want to check what's over on the other side there. Really? Yes, yeah, not gonna end well.
Oh wow, that thing's like guarding the path. Yeah, that poison thing damages you twice. Oh man. I really wanted to, like, check if there's even more, like, hidden stuff, but it's like I'm just having so many issues getting over there now. Okay. Okay. Oh, dude, like, you can't even do anything about that. It's like, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> getting hit by that thing because it's following you, but it's like, as soon as you go to the vines, it, like, auto-grabs them. So it's like, by trying to avoid the projectile by, like, jumping around, it's like you keep getting caught on the vines. And the Switch games get off? Uh, probably get off, to be honest, because I feel like, you know, based on how, like, late it is, there's pro- Oh, I fell off. <laughs> I feel like there's no point of uh, switching to something else, because if I did switch, I'd only be on for like 45 minutes, which isn't really that much. Like, I was thinking a little bit about playing maybe a couple matches of Fortnite, but I, I feel like even with 45 minutes, that's only like two or three games, depending on how long they last. Like, look at that. I, I hit A to jump, and it, like nothing happens. Maybe let me let one of these things just kill me. <clears throat> Dang, there's a lot of achievements for this game. Like, we already have a lot of gamer score for it, but, like, there's still tons of achievements. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to try and uh, sleep a lot earlier tonight. Um, I think that's definitely doable because obviously for... Oh, whoops. <laughs> for almost a week, I've been uh, been staying up, like, in my basement until, like, four or five. Just, like, you know, spending multiple hours trying to... Uh... Again, perfect example. I, like, I tried jumping. It doesn't let me jump. But, um, because, yeah, I've been spending multiple hours just trying to fix this thing, like, that, the issue that we were having. But I think it's fixed now by the looks of it, um, so I probably won't need to, like, stay up as late, so. Hopefully, like, I can start, like, playing not only getting back into the Minecraft Realm server, but, uh, hopefully I can start playing other games as well. And, you know, actually, like, the schedule on <laughs> the intermission- oh, rip. Yeah, I should have waited. But the, uh, the intermission screen, like, the schedule on there, hopefully I can actually start, like, following that, because that was kind of the goal, because obviously, as you probably know, I used to go on at, like, 2, and then I'd get off around, like, 5, or I think latest, like, 6. Um, but because my sleep schedule is still... It's still, like, so messed. Ooh, what the heck? Like, okay. You gotta carry me to a win, though? Yeah, if I play Fortnite, I'll definitely, like, open up the lobby so anyone that's chilling here, kind of like Minecraft, <laughs> anyone that's here can join in. I remember we used to do that a lot when I used to play Fortnite, and that was actually pretty fun. I remember, like, we got some, like, pretty sick uh, games in. I remember losing a lot, but at the same time, um... Whoops. 
No, it's not even letting me shoot my fireball. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I remember losing a lot, but uh, I also remember having some, like, really cool games. No! Yeah, okay. I tried going past, but, like, that one was literally blocking the way. So there was no, like, getting past that. But, yeah, I think I'll probably play another maybe, like... Well, depends how well it continues to go, obviously. But, uh... Yeah. Um... We'll see what happens. Wait, did I die? Wait, what? I didn't even see it shoot the projectile thing. I don't know how I lost all of my health. Yikes. Ugh. I know, I kind of like the concept of this game, and I do still want to beat it, but, like, I don't know. There are moments like these where it's, like, kind of frustrating. Did that thing drop a heart? No, it didn't. Okay, game checkpointed, thankfully. No! Okay. No, I jumped into that! <laughs> Oh, game. See, the thing I kind of liked about the first level, I mean, one thing I'm not really noticing too much on, like, that last level, well, I didn't do too much exploring on the last one, but one thing I remember on the first level. Oh, whoops. Uh-oh. But yeah, one thing that was on the first level, it's like it gave you multiple paths. Oh, what the heck? It gave you multiple paths, and you could follow the path that you wanted. It seems like now, a lot of the, like, secondary paths aren't really, like, leading you to your main objective. They're more just, like, either to bait you, making you think that there's something hidden there. Yeah, I can't even speak hidden there, or there actually is something hidden there. Like, gold or whatever, but, um... Yeah. Not a fan of that. Dude, it's like... And also, one thing I've noticed is that you can't grab the edges, unless it's just this level, but you can't grab the edges unless it's, like, a specific platform. It's like they programmed it so where, uh... It's like you can only grab the ledge if they want you to grab that ledge. It's not like, you know, let's say you see this here and you're like, oh, that's a ledge, let me try and grab the edge of it. It's like, <laughs> unfortunately, it does not work like that. Basically, like, to grab... Oh, that was close. To grab the ledges, you basically have to, like, find wood platforms. And it's like, if they didn't program it where you can grab that specific ledge, then you're kind of screwed if you have to grab the ledge for some reason. Yeah, yeah. There's, like, I don't even know what the game wants me to do there. <laughs> like, it takes two fire... Like, you only have four fireball capacity, right? It takes two to kill one of the red things. And so there was, like... That was the second red one... And there was the two, uh... And there were, yeah, two red ones and, like, the one little one in the center. <laughs> so, unless you, like, didn't kill the first one like I just did, you'd already be out of, like, fire to try and kill that next one. And then, like, that next one's literally, like, blocking the path. Yeah, like, look at that. I tried jumping past it and it just didn't work. I should have let it hit me, waited for the effect... Where you can pass through things and then, like, jumped. <clears throat> yeah, that was kind of dumb. 
dumb of me, I should clarify. Because, <laughs> yeah. You can tell I'm getting a little bit, like, impatient because it's like I'm no longer waiting as much. Oh, rip. I didn't even realize my health was that low. <laughs> Rest in peace. But, yeah. I'm getting a little bit kind of impatient because, you know, that's one thing about, like, these kind of games. Or just, I guess you could probably say with any game. To be honest, uh, when you get, like, stuck on the same part for a while, it's like, you kind of start, like, rushing it. Because, you know, you're kind of, like, losing your patience. Oh, I just ran into that. Because, you know, when you're doing the same thing multiple times over and over, it's like you kind of start getting a little bit annoyed. Oh, dude, that thing takes out, like, two things. So it's, like, basically, if I want to do the kind of, like, cheese strat that I'm doing, um, it's, like, I can't get hit once at the starting part. So far, so good. Just have to avoid getting hit by the blades. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't even need to get hit that time. Um, did I, like, do something wrong here? I didn't even see where to go. Probably should have just stayed up there, maybe, but, yeah. Kind of confused me a little bit. No! Dude, rest in peace. That was actually a pretty good run, because we didn't take any damage, and we managed to kill the first two, uh, like, fairy kind of things. Ah, uh, man. Dude, look at that. It, like, ran into me to push me off the edge. I probably should have just done my little, like, cheese strat again, or attempted it, but the problem is that if we were at, like, half health, not half health, if we were at, like, one-third of our health, taking that big spider out was, like, definitely not happening. Not 100%, but I think this might be my last attempt here. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Okay, maybe one more, because, you know, that's a little bit, uh, was a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, I think we'll call this our last attempt to run, and then I'll probably get off. Oh, whoops. I think I killed the, yeah, I killed the small one by just shooting a random fireball. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <sighs> yeah, see, like, am I blind or something? Like... Oh no, I think I know what the game wants. 
dude. Yeah, it's like, you have to kill that second one. I think you have to bounce on the, like, the, the thingy. The, the leaf. And then, uh, wait, what time is it? Uh, okay, maybe now that I kind of know what to do, um, we'll try one more. But yeah, this one's definitely gonna be my last attempt. I know I'm still getting, oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> that was really dumb, but yeah, I guess we'll call it there. But yeah, uh, let me like manually save the game and then we'll be good. Save. Wow, <laughs> we're already 17% complete. Um, okay, now that we saved, quit. There we go. But yeah, I mean, initial impressions with this game so far is that I like the concept, and obviously I'm probably going to finish it at some point. But the only thing that's frustrating is I can't tell if it's my controller being weird, but I feel like a lot of the time the buttons don't respond, like, when you hit. Like, sometimes it doesn't let you jump, sometimes it doesn't let you, like, fireball when you want to. Um, like, again, I don't know, because, like, seriously, like, my controller is starting to, like, have issues, so it might just be my controller, but... It's, like, kind of weird, because sometimes it's, like, you know, stuff doesn't respond when you click a button, which is a little bit alarming, but like I said, that... I'll give the game the benefit of the doubt. It's probably just my, uh, controller that's starting to break. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Overall, it's not a bad game. It's a pretty interesting story. I'm kind of, like, you know, interested to see, like, where it goes, so we'll have to finish it up over time. But, yeah. Um, like I said, I should be on tomorrow and Saturday, um, but, uh, yeah, we'll be playing Minecraft. We'll kind of, uh, kind of hold off on the indie stream I was talking about, where it's like we play all of these indie games that we've gotten, um, like, over the, you know, the past, like, uh, like,